Hey, PB, last, last thing. We've, got, we've still got another week in us, bit. <coughs> Why? Hey YouTube, hope you're doing well. My name is James Clark. I'm a sports photographer and videographer based in the UK. I am here in the sunny Girona in Spain. I'm here on a week of cycling with my good mate and we're just getting some good miles in the legs. I have also brought with me my 50mm lens on my Sony a7 IV. I'm gonna get some good content for you as we go. But yeah, we are in Girona. It is the mecca of cycling. It seems there is influences everywhere. There's brands, there's pros there's even pro triathletes as well so we're just giving this place to go and see what it is like and so far we are loving it and um, yeah so i'm going to bring you along on the rides with my camera and i'm going to give you three tips to become a better sports photographer so i hope you enjoy this and i'll see you in the next bit Alrighty, so tip one is going to come when we get to the top of els angels on the back side of girona Hands here. We're uh, doing the steeper side, I think. We figured it. We're already, we've already done 4,800 feet of climbing in about 62 miles. So we're both blowing a little bit. I might regret this. But yeah, tip one when we get to the top, failed to be a better sports photographer. Oh, just about made it to the top. Um, <coughs> <laughs> too busy coughing <coughs> Girona is in the background over there somewhere it's all in the sun but um yeah that was a bit tougher than the other direction but um yeah tip number one is knowing your sport to capture great sports moments you need to understand the sport that you are photographing whether that's an event or a game or you are photographing athletes or teams so knowing your sport is really important it's important to learn the moves, it's important to learn the rules of the sport or the game that you are trying to capture and it's also important to understand the key moments in a game or a sport that you are doing or whether you're shooting an athlete and just capturing those best moments for them. If you can do that, that will help you anticipate anything that happens in your shoot that you're doing or the event that you're working at so you can make those split second decisions to get those great sports photography moments. Anyway, we're about to go back down into Girona now. I've got my 50 mil on and I'm going to get some photos of Dan. I'll put them up here whilst we are talking. But um, yeah, I'm canned today, I think. And um, hopefully you enjoy those photos. And um, I'll go and move on to tip number two on another day. All right, so moving on to tip number two. We're on a bit of a recovery day today. But tip number two is investing in the right equipment. By having equipment that has accurate autofocus, fast shutter speeds, and the ability to capture images in decent low light, will get you some great sports photos. So investing in the right equipment is really important. And what I've got is some videos for you that I've done in the past. I'll link it up above. But you can see what equipment I use in my photography. And also I'll be talking about kit that you can use across different brands in future videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to see those future videos. But um, what you can also do to help with stabilizing footage is either using a monopod or tripod. I don't necessarily use this all the time, but I do find a monopod does help sometimes with action sports like football or rugby etc so making sure you invest in the right equipment is pivotal to getting good sports photos i'm going to stop talking now so i can actually concentrate on this climb easy day huh anyway on to the next tip Alrighty, it's the last day out here in spain it's been a beautiful week actually of uh, lovely riding. I think we're over 300 miles for the week, which is something I certainly never do. So, <laughs> oh dear, and probably the last chance I will do. But tip number three, 
is to practice, practice, practice. There's a hole coming. So practice, practice, practice. Attend games, practice sessions in particular. Get used to shooting from different angles and perspectives of the action or of the athlete's actions. And um, just get used to lighting in particular, the background. I love a shot with a clean background in it. And um, if you watch the video that I put up at the top here now, um, it's basically, basically based off of around some of other, other photographers that have inspired me in, in my work. So check that one out because you might have someone new to follow on Instagram. But yeah, practice, practice, practice. And um, something I'm going to be doing when I get back tomorrow, I'm going to be knackered. When I'm going to attend a American football game for the first time. So that will be different. What have you done some research and actually I spent some time in America when I was younger. Um, so knowing where to shoot from, etc. in an American football game is going to be different. So yeah, I think the key thing with practicing is that um, it will just help when you go to a real life scenario or a paid job that you are ready for anything really. So, um, and again, we're shooting from different angles. I am someone that likes to shoot from behind trees sometimes or behind some rocks. So just getting a, a, a shot that is framed can not sometimes be quite effective. So just practice. Oh, something flew in my face. And again, bloody hell. And uh, try some different styles as well. So I do panning. I do still shots and um, also do some fake editing as well with blurring as well which people seem to love and I'll do a video on one day once I get around to a few other videos I've got coming but uh, yeah those are the three tips and uh, let me crack on with the ride a little bit and I'll talk to you in a second so that is it for your three tips on this video hope that helps you and there's also some links to some videos other videos that I've done uh, throughout so um, I'm actually at the rowing lake for the Barcelona Olympics uh, just resting up before we stupidly are gonna try Els Angels at the end of our very very long week but it is a beautiful little area if you haven't been to Girona um, it's definitely a place that I would highly recommend but um, again hope you enjoyed those three tips although that third one about practice 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 is a bit cliche everyone kind of says that but um, it is really important in terms of getting better at your photography so again hopefully that helps and I'll see you in the next one so to capture great that's all right mate we need, we need a behind the scenes don't we Dan's just laughing at me making videos.